Well, new at noon, the suspect accused of firing shots at Kentucky police and leading them on a three week manhunt made his first court appearance. Not on your side, Jolly Kramer was inside the courtroom and takes us to the story. For the first time, we're seeing Jacob Julik inside the Kenton County Courthouse. He's facing numerous charges, including three counts of attempted murder, and his biggest supporter was right there in the courtroom. Jacob Julik, now wearing a red jail uniform, is facing charges for an alleged crime that happened exactly three weeks ago. His mother was crying before the hearing even began. Police say the 27-year-old shot at two Lakeside Park Crestview Hills police officers during a traffic stop in Erlanger on June 6th. His mother was there, making her first plea for Jacob to turn himself in. That's a big step to take to shoot at officers, and at that point, I would think you would be so overwhelmed knowing that the rest of your life is gone that you would be capable of anything as well as harming yourself. Over the weekend, Julik resurfaced and led Covington police on a chase reaching speeds over 80 miles per hour. He escaped yet again. But it all came to a head on Tuesday night when authorities tracked Julik to this Westwood apartment complex. SWAT had the place surrounded, and in that moment, Julik called his mom. He said, I'm here. I'm not in the house where they think I am. I'm outside on the wood line. Could you call them and tell them where I am? And I just told him, throw the gun down, take your shirt off, scream as you're on your knees, let them know where you are, and just hold your hands up. After four hours, Julik did eventually give himself up. Mary says it was an enormous sigh of relief that her son was both alive and that no one was injured. We'll never know if that phone call with his mother pushed Jacob to turn himself in, but there's something to be said about a mother's love. I've been crushed. I've been humiliated. I've been a lot of things, but I'm still a mother and I'm still strong and I'll still do what I have to do. Julik is still being held on a million dollars bond. He'll be back in court next Tuesday. Reporting in Covington, Ali Kramer, nine on your side. Now, meantime, three others now face charges connected to this case. Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says the trio helped him avoid arrest. John Wayne Linville, Krista Cortez and Aaron Pino are also facing charges. They're accused of helping Julik while he was on the run.